Okay, so here's a quick video on how to put together, how to attach center lock rotors on a center lock hub. You are going to need two different tools to do this. For the rear wheel, you will need a regular cassette tool. This could be a cassette tool without the hollow pin or one with the pin, the, the guide pin that sticks out, basically. It'll fit perfectly in there. For the front wheel, you're gonna need a 16-point engaging socket. This is a Park Tool BBT 19.2. Um, other companies make the same thing. It's all the same. Basically, as long as you engage all the points in order to put it in there, you are good to go. You're gonna need a ratchet and you're gonna need a torque wrench. To start off with, what we're gonna do is we are going to clean our, this is the rear wheel, I need the smaller one, our rotors, right? So we're gonna take these guys down, brush them, scrape them down, or scrub them down with alcohol. This is gonna be the easiest time to do this when it's on the actual rim, only one side's easier than the other one. Not that it's hard, right? So that should be good. Now, the dirt collects on the inside of the threads. To screw in the caps that hold the rotors down, the threads are on the inside of the hub, basically. So what you want to do is grab a piece, small piece of paper towel, go in there and just try and extract as much dirt and grit as possible so it does not get trapped between the threads when you screw in the cap, right? So this one's pretty clean. Now, grab the rotor flange side down, flat side up. In this case, we grab the cassette cap or the cap that requires the cassette tool and spin them in by hand, always by hand first. All right, as far down as you can go, make sure that you're not cross threading. There we go. So grab our cassette tool, put it in there. Take a ratchet first, screw them down. Okay, now we gotta torque them. So, torque specs are on the caps, 35 mil, uh, nanometers for this rear cap, right? Take our torque wrench, set them to 35, it's already on 35. So, one thing about torque wrenches. Torque wrenches are meant to be used in one way. They are calibrated to be used by holding the handle right at the edge like that. You do not want to hold a torque wrench like this or right at the edge like that or further in. You want to hold it with your full palm at the edge of the actual handle. Full force going downwards in a straight line, right? So we don't want to be, our hands to be cocked in some odd position, right? We bring it down, straight line just like that 35.1 so if you get too low you want to bring it back up again basically right I know it seems like something simple but a lot of people make that mistake they'll grab it by the end like this or by the end like that and that will not give you accurate readings even on an accurate uh, uh, torque wrench like this right so because you're putting in different leverage ratios there they're calibrated to be held one way and that's just like that so our rear wheel is done. Now we go to the front wheel. So front wheel, same premise. Grab your disc, clean the rotor. Just like that, best you can. All right, clean the side, clean the teeth if there's any it on the inside and once again the threads are on the inside of the hub so we want to grab the towel go in there try and extract whatever little granules of dust dirt grit are in there so they don't get trapped between the threads so we have a nice locked connection all right once again, flange side down, flat side up. In this case, we need the cap for the front wheel. Um, again, this has 16 teeth. Clean 
the threads make sure there's no little piece of granular dust or dirt in there that'll get trapped. And once again, thread them in by hand, just like that. Okay, in this case, grab your 16 point socket, put it in there. Torque wrench, now, torque specs on this guy is different. Front wheel, 40 nanometers. So let's up this guy to 40. Take out the cassette tool. All right, so again, straight line. Grip them at the end. Put it more centered here and pull down. There we go. And we are done. So that's how we properly install rotors on, or center lock rotors on center lock hubs. Hope you liked it. Hope this helps for beginners out there. Like, subscribe, dislike, add any comments below. And uh, looking, uh, gonna put out a couple of more videos. Looking forward to it. And we will be talking to you soon. Have a good one. Take care.